My work is based on my childhood memories. I recall some of the images from my childhood, then collect them, put together in my work as they become mementos from my childhood. Some of the memories related to ordinary scene of nature. When I was a child, I was taught the ancient belief of the ancient Japanese belief in the will of nature that all part of nature have own spirit. My mother would tell me that I shouldn't hurt flowers, trees, and mountains because they would cry. No one else able to see these spirits, but I could feel it. Well, I like to use collages in my work with candy wrappers and piece of coloring books which resemble pieces from my childhood with the things I once collected. When I was a child, I would like to collect lots of things like little stones, plastic flowers, and candy wrappers, then holding my pocket. My mother didn't like those things I collect from outside, then would throw them away. For my mother, that was just dirty garbage. But for me, that was something special, like little pieces of treasures. Besides of that, I was collecting other things and tried to keep two things in my bedside drawer. One was coloring books, which I really enjoyed to find the nice pages to color and trace. The other one was chiogami, which is origami paper with flower patterns. I collected chiogami carefully, making sure I didn't run out each of patterns. And I did a good job. When I grew up, I've got quite amount of geogamy collections, but also I realized I didn't need it anymore. And now I'm collecting antique fabrics, I mean antique kimono fabrics. At first I didn't know why those old fabrics so attracted me, but now I can see the connection between these collectings. Sometimes I use the things I'm collecting today in my work, but somehow I feel like I'm using the collections from my drawer of my memory. That's one of the reasons I started to use flower patterns in my work. I received many of feedbacks in all my work, color used. If you know my early work, you will realize that have same subject matter, but the color was more natural. In a few years, co continuing the same subject matter, my memory getting clearer and the color became brighter as long with the object becoming more distinctive. When really called memories, sometimes those memories mixed up with decent moment and feelings. These distorted images are used in my work as abstract images. I think, well, about memories, I think if you have sad memory or miserable memories, those memories make happy memories even brighter. In my opinion, if somebody doesn't have any sad memories, that person's happy memory is not really bright compared to other people who have experience with much sadness. Well, all of my works have their own stories, like the one um, which called Splish Splash, I don't want to take a bath, which is also on the postcard. 
That was about bath time with my father when I was a kid. I really afraid to get my face wet. My parents put shampoo hat on me, but you know sometimes that leaks and my face got wet. So my dad, my father needed to hold me upside down to wash my hair. And also he tried to keep me long in bathtub, and let me count the numbers and told me that if I stay long enough in the bathtub, I can have soda pop. But funny thing is I didn't care about soda pop. You can see some bus related you can see some bus related items in these paintings as as well as you can recognize some of items in other paintings. I hope my work encourage encourage happy memories of your own to be triggered. Thank you.